for people who do not have babies it seems like babies are always sleeping all the time but that is not the case as babies grow it becomes more and more difficult to get them to sleep so that you get your long awaited eventual break hi it's brilliant this is the sleep movement welcome back if you are new please subscribe and join the world's best group of subscribers if you are a new parent or just a baby caregiver getting him or her to sleep is one of the best techniques that you need to have so that parenting becomes bearable in this video we are going to share tips on how you can persuade your baby to sleep earlier or quickly so that you can catch your own nap you also might want to teach your baby good sleeping habits when they are young because it is very difficult to teach an old dog new tricks there is a great deal of literature about sleep and specifically sleep training so i'm just going to single out a few and the most efficient tips so within the first three months after birth babies will need about 14 to 17 out of 24 hours of sleep during this period babies need to be fed adequately because their metabolic rate is usually high they rarely sleep throughout the night they will be waking up frequently to quench their thirst or hunger at this point a full stomach will guarantee sleep after three or four months babies now need about 14 to 17 out of 24 hours of sleep the trick is still feeding them adequately and changing their wet diapers during this period of three to four months and after babies become aware of their surroundings as much as it is comfortable to sleep next to your child in the same bed it becomes a problem as it disturbs their sleep when you move around it is recommended to move the baby out of the bed into her own separate one when the feeding needed is no longer breastfeeding alone children are usually scared to sleep on their own especially when they are moved out of the parents bed at a later age of say one year six months they feel that the trust they had been building all along is about to be broken so the parent is expected to cuddle the baby and when they feel that they are about to sleep they move the baby into their own separate bed i just want to hammer this point of your baby sleeping in the same bed with you and make sure that it gets home sleeping in the same bed with your baby has more risks than benefits there is a risk of blankets pillows and oversleeping parents especially those of a newborn baby suffocating him or her so basically i'm just trying to say that move your baby into a separate bed i know that it is difficult to do the right thing but when you are breastfeeding or when you are feeding your child with a bottle make sure that when they are about to sleep move the bottle away from their mouth if they are now at the age of having solids make sure that you feed them way before their sleeping time so that we stop a form of classical condition when they feel that if they are asleep they should be feeding this is done by de-associating feeding and sleeping this is how you do it i would not say sleep training is an easy thing for both the baby or the parents because there's a lot of crying involved let alone demanding of attention from the baby another tip is teaching your baby to console him or herself in bed when your child has reached around 17 or one and a half months of age if you have put her to bed to sleep it is recommended not to pick her up when she is crying i know this is also very difficult you can either console her in her bed or you can let her cry it out to sleep <laughs> i personally think that it is best to consult your occupational therapist when you feel that you want to sleep train your baby together draw a plan that you think will work best for you and your baby then apply it relentlessly because sleep training is also behavior change training basically when you choose to sleep train your baby you want to teach them to self-soothe to sleep many parents already have ways and methods of soothing their babies for example some will sing lullabies some of them will play white noise music and sounds this is a good thing i do not have anything against all these methods what i need to put forward is 
there should be a way out to say when these things are not present how is the baby going to fall asleep to say when these things are not present is the baby going to fall asleep and how long will it take for them to do so an important point to note is all babies are unique in character and behavior so sleep training should be different and fashioned specifically for that specific baby you should consider things like the environment the character of the baby the culture of the parents and all those things when you're training the baby to self-soothe to sleep please comment if this video has been helpful to you if you're a parent or a caregiver of a baby don't forget to subscribe see you soon